first game didn't go so well. In fact, so well that I have absolutely no desire to show it to you. I got two kills, but that was mostly due to luck. Now, Spooky Siege, or Madhouse, is basically an October event that runs for a while. And what makes it interesting is that uh, you are limited to a number of pre-selected operators. You are only allowed the operators that has a October Halloween skin. And uh, this means that the, you basically play with preset teams. And uh, I don't really know what to feel about that, really. But it's an interesting dynamic where as the operators you see now are the ones that are available. That's the only ones that are available. And... It basically goes against everything that Siege is trying to do. And um, I'm actually not a, a bit over the fence about it. I would say that if they wanted to have an event where the skins and the feeling is important, they might actually want to make one where everyone just plays Recruit. And I'm fr fairly certain I've given them ideas by doing that. Basically a discovery queue where everyone just plays Recruit. That would, however, be hell, since the, uh, there would be no Hard Breacher. Speaking of Hard Breacher, uh, we are back in the house, and that is actually something I like. Because the map house is one of my all-time favorites. So, uh, let's sneak in under the bed. And house has been basically redecorated to suit uh, the map's purpose. And there's lanterns, and there's pumpkins, and demonic temples and blood and basically everything you need to make Halloween a really nice place to be. So interestingly enough we have the Canadian, uh, basically the Canadian uh, woodsman. Oh right, we have grenades. We also have this. Tango down. Let's go inside and see. Friendly yeah. mission successful. That was nice. So we got our fair share of kills there, or at least we got one, which I can't really complain about. One kill is better than none. And looks like we get to be vigil, and that means impact grenades, and uh, yeah. I'm not really good for, with vigil, that's the thing. And uh, I would rather play like Mira, or Pulse, or Jaeger, or Valkyrie, basically Everyone but Vigil, because I'm not good with Vigil. But uh, since I was last to pick, <coughs> it's basically Vigil or Recruit, and... <coughs> Sorry about that. When it comes to the choice between Vigil and Recruit, I'll pick Vigil any time of the day. So, all we need to do now is... Wait for the replacement player to load in. And hopefully... Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully... We will have a next game going on very soon indeed. All we can do is wait, wait, and wait. Here we go. Interestingly enough, Vigil's skin and weapon is currently very suiting to the environment we are currently playing in. So, uh, I actually think we are gonna play some one here. Right, 
Now we are gonna create a kill hole towards the stairs here. And the reason that the kill yeah, hole is so black. big is because I want it to be an intentional lure. Also, one of the interesting mechanics about this map is how there is whistling, there is horror, there is basically <coughs> a whole bunch of stuff uh, that is designed at making this, the experience a lot more spooky. So we deceive the drone. I don't know if they are inside yet, or... No, they're not. We are taking casualties. I should just destroy that pumpkin. Because that pumpkin is going to be <coughs> a big problem someday. <coughs> One friendly oh, come on! Could have gone a lot better. Ah, oh, let's go Buck again. Let's just customize his weapon a little bit. I don't need the suppressor. And let's go ACOG. Ah, enough trolling. We need to locate a bomb. Let's get it back in there. This guy needs to be more creative with his insults. Advised, your drone has located a bomb. Let's do this. And by do it, I mean most l possibly die. Basically, blowing the door open like that was it. Oh, come on, this is embarrassing. Reload. Oh, crap, wrong one. Let's see if someone's hiding in the staircase. No. 
At least not so far. Okay, let's see if we got... Ah, Fermite has got that covered. Oh crap, it's gonna be a team kill. Sorry. Op four eliminated. Friendly mission successful. So match point defense. I'm gonna be Valk this time around. For superior movement. And we don't need to troll the guy any further than that, really. Not that I don't mind trolling people, but uh, when I do so, it's usually for a tactical purpose. I'm actually quite serious about that. Uh, if I troll someone or egg someone on in a conversation, it's jo you, it's almost always from the enemy team, and I want them riled up. I want them to be thinking more about th their next retort to me rather than how they're gonna win the game. It's a cheap tactic, a very cheap tactic, but it's actually a pretty effective one, and. Uh, I am usually try to stay on the right side of sportsmanship when doing so. For example, I never overstay my welcome in it. I basically just make sure they are the ones typing a lot of stuff. Uh, because you don't need more than that. So, we have... That one's destroyed. Make sure that's... Oh, the mirror is destroyed, and we we don't have a reflection, mates. We don't even have a reflection. God damn it. Also, I'm not supposed to be back there. I think I might actually be here this round. So we have a lot, a, not really a lot more, but enough more maneuverability for it to matter. Also, we'll have C4. Not that the C4 might work that well in our favor, but here's hoping. First kill is ours. Okay, we got an ID on the enemy. They are at least one in the bathroom. Well, they might actually be outside too. Well, I got my hits in, but uh, that didn't work so well for me. Be advised, Op 4 has located a bomb. Hopefully that Nice. Well done. Basically, that recruit have is te really tearing up the holes in that bedroom right now. Op four eliminated. Mission successful. So let's jump into the next game of Spooky Siege.
I have to say, the game mode is not without its charm, but I'm not entirely convinced of its staying power. I mean, it's basically something you play just for the event, and then you might actually not play it all that much, because... Um, Well, it's not really like the Operation Chimera event, because Operation Chimera felt out of place. And I mean really goddamn out of place. Uh, but uh, I would say this is uh, that kind of event where the items are the charm, basically. I mean, I don't dislike it, but I mean, I am on my third game in now, and it, it the charm is wearing off a bit. I mean, it's nice that they put in all the attention to detail and stuff like that in it, but more than that, I mean, never mind. Long day at work as well, so... Alright, so it's the kid's bedroom again, meaning we reinforce this shit. And we are unspooling as much razor wire as we possibly can. One Jagger device here. Jagger device does not have any spookiness to it. Which is sad. And it's spooky left. Jagger device. That is not spooky. Five seconds to insertion. Reloading, cover me. Bomb location secure. Well, German is not spooky either, so I suppose we uh compromised. So they located one of the bombs, we need to keep an eye out for enemy. Reloading. Well, that didn't go so well. I'm safe in the bathroom. Ah, crap. That was the luckiest shot ever. Or not. Uh, I thought he was actually uh, shooting uh, from uh, the main bedroom, but he wasn't, so that's why I called it lucky shot. But, I mean, on my k kill cam, the bullets came from a completely different direction. I'm using how the enemy doesn't seem to have actually placed down a diffuser yet when they basically have complete control of kids' bedroom. I mean, that's what I would do if I was them. I would... I would just get that diffuser down. And I would also be fucking pissed if I was Valk at the moment. Op four, last operator standing. Uh, I... Valk is actually not hit, and that's basically her only saving grace right now. Mission failed. All friendlies were because eliminated. considering all the bullets she sprayed at Buck, I would have expected Buck to be dead. It's also very interesting to see how many people are actually picking Recruit. And are doing so as part of a... Yeah, let's go with... Uh, 
with the FN foul. Let's see if we can salvage our reputation as Buck a little bit. After all, our name is Buck and we like to... We need to locate a bomb. Up we go. Contact. Kid's bedroom is going to be second, yeah. I mean, if there is any map I played more than anyone else, House and Hereford, the old Hereford, has to be the top tier ones. Ten seconds before insertion. Insertion in five seconds. The diffuser has been recovered. You found a bomb. Make your way to its location and defuse it. Let's keep an eye out for whatever spawn peekers there might be out there. Put some rounds in targets. You don't always use this sniper. I don't always use that sniper platform, but in this case it was a lot of fun. So let's climb down. Or slide if we are fussel. Let's go via the via the bathroom, basically. Loading new mag. Basically, I'm trying to figure out if there's someone behind that. Oh, I just realized there's an easier way to find out if there's someone behind that mirror window. Tango down! Oh crap! Grenade! Friendly. Op four eliminated. That's not a bad thing. Seven six two. Why did I ever doubt you? Let's go, Mira. What a nice score we got there. Three kills. And two of them headshots. Fairly nice headshots too. the area. 
area. Keep the bombs protected. Reinforce. Their reinforcements are done. And it's done. Bomb locations are secure. The enemy does not know where the bombs are. So let's use our unicorn to its fullest advantage and wait for the enemy. I mean, the spooky sounds. The spooky sounds doesn't really help. And. Tango down. Sweet kill. I just didn't expect there to be another one there. I was, or rather, I expected them not to be aiming straight at where I was standing. But considering the consequences, I mean. Uh, I'm not really sure it would have made it that much of a difference, really. Because at that very position, I think he would have been able to shoot me regardless, because he had to know I was there. So, I don't think the throwing of the C4 did anything. Ah, crap. They have done a fairly reasonable thing when it comes to kids' bedroom. Yeah. Sadly, there was not much to... G I mean, once we more or less gave up control of kids' bedroom by not having anyone actually anchoring it, uh, the rest was actually fairly easy for our enemies. Let's go back again, but this time we go back to the M4. Soon. Or at least that's what I'm hoping for. At least now we know that one of them likes to do runouts and peaks and stuff like that. And knowing that is valuable, because then we know to look for it. I mean, you should always look for some stupid strats like that, of course, but... Um, some enemy teams are not just not prone to it. We are going to try and do an insertion in the garage. Found a bomb. Make your way to its location and defuse it. Ah crap, I have the diffuser. I don't want to have the diffuser. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go and drop it. Grenade. Basically, pushing that place is not going to do me any favors. Stairs. Drop the diffuser. 
Oh, he was going... Oh, he was right below me. That explains why I died so quickly. I mean, I had expected to at least be able to get inside, but no. The worst thing about it if, is, had I been more clever with my grenades, I might have actually gotten the guy, but no. That was just poor decision making on my part. Jagger is uh, in the corner, Thermite, uh, to your right. Jagger is now to your right. Let's see if he even waits for... Nice. Also, Jaeger was dead and I didn't notice that. Kind of annoying, but... Okay, so round five. Overtime match points. I can live with that. I hope. Um... I can either go buck or I can go think. I think I'm gonna go buck. Uh, frag or stuns. Let's go frags. And another thing. I'm also gonna get rid of the ACOG for the M4 and make sure I have close up sights for any close by engagement that might be going on. Okay, so tangos are currently populating the second floor. That is consistent with... Oh, that's a, that's interesting. Uh, took them a while to actually find my drone. The diffuser has been recovered. You've located a bomb. Make your way to its location and... Frag him. There's, a, however, one problem that I opened both of them. Oh crap! Down to one friendly. That was a nice throw. I can't say anything else about it. And above all else, they knew I was not. Monitoring it. We have been eliminated. Oh my! F it is. And I think that's enough spooky siege for now. I mean, it's it's a decent enough game mode, but. I'm just going to settle for my original view of the game mode being that it's a nice break from the usual stuff, but it's not something that keeps me going and going and going. So, but it's a, a very nice effort. I mean, they really nailed it with the redecorating of the house. And uh, they also nailed it with most of the character outfits. However, most of the character outfits are still locked behind the Crimson Veil packs.
and of course they are they are uh, they cost you rainbow six credits so the interesting thing is that uh, there's even an option here to buy the complete collection and all remaining packs and I, I really can't see anyone doing that unless they are really really a fan of the horror theme